We've seen that amplifiers are devices that are defined in terms of an input voltage and current and an output voltage and current. And we've seen that we can model those devices in terms of a dependent source with an output resistance and an input resistance. So we have here the the model that we have already seen, but it turns out that there are four different equivalent models that, or four different equivalent ways of modeling the amplification process. We have here the one we've already seen. It's known as a voltage amplifier, where the dependent source is a voltage-dependent voltage source. Another way of modeling, oh, and in series with an output resistance. Another way of modeling this amplification process involves a voltage-dependent current source with a parallel output resistance. A third model consists of a current-dependent current source, again, with a parallel output resistance. And the fourth model that we're going to talk about involves a current-dependent voltage source, a voltage source that is dependent upon the input current. Now each of these models is equivalent and in general we could use any one of these models to model the amplify amplification process. We're going to find later on that there are certain characteristics about each of these different models that may make the calculations more intuitive or um, in some way be more, uh, what's the word, be better models of the process that's taking place. But let's now look a little more closely at these four models. The first of these four models is known as a voltage amplifier. In each of these models, there is an unloaded gain term. For the voltage amplifier, this gain term, AV0, is defined as the ratio of the output voltage to the input voltage evaluated with I out equaling zero. In other words, with no load connected, a voltage source means open circuit. And we've referred to this AV0 as the open circuit voltage gain. And again, this is simply saying that with no load connected, which means open circuit, the output voltage V out will equal the open circuit voltage gain AV0 times Vn. In this case, AV0 has the units of volts per volt. This next amplifier model consists of the voltage dependent current source. It's known as a transconductance amplifier. In this case, the gain term, the unloaded gain term associated with this current source G sub M is equal to I0 divided by Vn, I0 divided by Vn, evaluated at V out equaling 0. What does that mean? When V out equals 0, what we're saying is that we're shorting the terminals. So G sub M then is defined as the ratio of the output current to this input voltage under the conditions of the output being shorted. That makes sense. Here you have then that I0 with a short circuit, I0 is just equal to G sub M times Vn or G sub M is equal to I0 divided by Vn once again with V out shorted. The output leads shorted. This term transconductance comes from the units of G sub M. You'll notice that the units of G sub M are amps per volt, which is 1 over resistance. Resistance, of course, is, has the units of volts per amp. So this is 1 over resistance, which you'll recall is referred to as conductance. Our third amplifier model is known as a current amplifier and consists of a current dependent current source. The current source is dependent upon the input current. In fact, we can define the uh, unloaded gain term A sub I S as being equal to 
the ratio of I out over I in once again evaluated at V out equaling zero. So once again we're saying then that the definition of this gain term is in terms of a short circuited current where we have then I out, the short circuited current is just equal to A sub I S times I in. And clearly Dividing both sides by I in gives us that gain, that gain term. Our final and fourth model is known as a trans-resistance amplifier, where its unloaded gain term, R sub M, is defined at V out over I in, evaluated at I out equals zero. So this I out equals zero means that it's open circuited, and this then is the open circuited gain term. And the units of this R sub M, because it's dependent upon the input current, R sub M is equal to V out over I in. It has the units of volts per amp, which are the units of resistance. Thus, the name trans resistance amplifier, because the, in this case, the open circuit gain term R sub M has the units of resistance or volts over amps. And as we can see here then, the output voltage V out is just equal to R sub M times I in for the case where I out equals zero. There's no voltage drop across here, so the output voltage is just R sub M times I in. As was mentioned, these four models are all equivalent which means that we should get the same open circuit voltage and the same short circuit current um, expressions for any of them. Let's just show how we can tie these two together or we can relate these two together. As an example, and, and, and you can do the same thing for any, of the, any pair of the two because again, they're all equivalent. First of all, let's note that the open circuit voltage for this model right here, V open circuit, is simply equal to a v0 times vn. Because it's open circuit, there's no current flowing through here, so there'll be no voltage drop across the output resistance, and the open circuit voltage is just that term. Now, let's write the same kind of term. Let's define or write an expression for the open circuit voltage in this model. Now, in this model, there's no current going out this terminal. So the open circuit voltage, open circuit voltage then is simply this current flowing or times that resistor R0, or we have then that the open circuit voltage is G sub M VI times R0. Now if we set those two equal to each other, we can come up with an expression for um, a V0 in terms of G sub M. In fact, setting those equal to each setting them equal to each other, we get A V0 V N is equal to G sub M times V N times R0. The V N terms cancel, and we get then this A V0, the open circuit voltage gain, is equal to G sub M times R0. And as I mentioned, you can go through and you can come up with expressions for one in terms of the other for any two of these models because each of these models are equivalent.